first of all, with, with Sunday's game, will Rasmus Hoyland be available to make his debut? Yes. So we had a, a good training week. And yeah, so tomorrow we have a final training. But he's doing well, he's responding well. So yeah, he will be available for Sunday game. We've seen Alte Biendir arrive. Will, any, will he be eligible to be involved on Sunday? Will anyone else potentially arrive and be available? He will, um, he will be in the squad as well, yeah. Uh, Alte, so happy. Now we have the, the keeper group. Um, uh, again, uh, he's uh, fully, fully there. We covered every position. So I think we have a very good keeper group uh, with uh, the arrival of uh, Alti. Is there a chance of anyone else signing in time to play on Sunday? What do you mean? Is there any? Obviously, United are looking at some other other options. Is there a chance any of them will be signed in time to play to on play Sunday? Sunday? Ah, uh, potentially, um, yes. Potentially, yes, could be eh, because. But then we have to re request it eh, by now. Eh? Does that mean Reguilon? Is he here? Like, he is here, he trained. So he is. He will be available for Sunday as well? Yes. Right, OK. Um, just in terms of, like, we're told about Amrabat um, and the <coughs> midfield option, that, that's moving close. Will that give you the squad that you, you, you know want? that? <laughs> well, I mean, people, people in uh, Florence <laughs> seem to think that's true. Oh, yeah, uh, but there's so many rumours. <laughs> Yeah, but it's nice, eh? It's, eh? <laughs> but would would is that if you got that position sorted, would that give you the squad that you want? I think um, yes. We have done good business. Uh, we constructed a strong squad, and yeah, we are ready to go into the fight. And it does that also mean that we've spoken a lot about Harry Scott McTominay has been mentioned a lot. Does that mean they are here? They are part of the squad they have an important role to play <laughs> yes we if you see the shadow eh, and uh, it's tough it's really condensed uh, when you see eh, last season World Cup crazy season eh, less uh, the, the season takes longer eh, two weeks we played the FA Cup final one week longer we had a short break where we really condensed pre-season again so we need numbers but also need not only numbers you need, also the numbers has to be uh, have to be quality. And I think, yeah, with this squad we have the depth and we have quality players in, and uh, we can be variable um, in variety, variety systems. And yeah, we are happy with it. And yeah, what I said, we are ready to go into the fight. Um, also by in there, uh, what, what do you like about him? He'll be the first Turkish player to, to play for Manchester United as well, so a big moment for Turkish football fans as well. Yeah, we um, we followed him, we scouted him very intense, and yeah, we think he has the skills that he um, yeah, that he fit in, uh, fit in Man United, fit in English football, uh, that he that he has the skills. So yeah, we are really glad that we uh, that we signed him. Um, and yeah, we are confident uh, that he will make uh, a lot of progress um, in the coming period, uh, the, the coming years, and he will be a, a huge contribution to our game. Uh, and you mentioned Sergio Reguilón has trained with the club. What qualities will he bring in that position? Is he up to being thrown straight in and replacing um, a fullback immediately? Oh, he is very experienced player. A player for big clubs. Player already a lot of games. Um, in La Liga, in Premier League, um, so yes, I think a very good background. Um, we have seen he can play very intense uh, football. Yeah, so we are happy. Uh, while uh, we had a problem uh, with Luke Shaw injured, Thai Malaysia injured, yeah, for long term out. So I think yeah, we responded very well on that um, emergency situation. And, and Sofia Ambrava, I know he's a player you worked with at FC Utrecht uh, again. Really, a player who could make a, a difference this side? I can't tell eh? because I don't know if we can sign. Eh? So, if we have news, we will uh, report it immediately. Uh, one more, if I, if I may. Um, Andre Onana, quite cryptic on, on social media about whether he might be playing for, for Cameroon uh, and coming back to the, to the side there after withdrawing from international football. Do, do you know any more about that? Because obviously, the, the Africa Cup of Nations is in the Ivory Coast this year in, in January, and there'd be an impact if he does play. 
I know everything about it. So of course we spoke about that situation and before we we signed him, and uh, we will be in good contact with Andre um, how to deal uh, how to deal with the situation. So, so is he is he able to play for Cameroon again? Uh, but I said I am in good contact with Andre, and uh, we are on the same page. We know what to do, and also um, yeah, we know how we constructed the squad, uh, how we can deal with it. If but as I said, we have to speak about. Uh, and then we will make a decision. Uh, last question in this section, PLP. Hi, Eric. Historically, games uh, between Arsenal and Manchester United have been big games. What are you expecting from uh, Mikel Arteta's side, and what have you made of what they've done to their squad this season? Uh, it's <laughs> one of the biggest games in the Premier League. And how we're really looking forward, of course, um, that fight. And uh, really always interesting games, intense games. Um, I think it's very, uh, two teams who really play offensive football. Uh, the, the right intentions, I would say. The audience is always uh, the big winner of that game. So, yeah, really looking forward to, to have that game. And just finally, the Champions League draw, what have you made of, of your group? And if you do get the additions that are hopeful for today, have you got the, the, the depth of squad to, to tackle four competitions? I think, yeah. Uh, but therefore we need, as you say, we need the depth uh, to, uh, to go into the four competitions, but also uh, our players, the most of them are international players uh, for the nations, so they will go all over the world. So yeah, we have to cover that. We have to be prepared for that situation that we always can put a competitive uh, team on the pitch. Uh, it's a lot of expectation. Uh, just right. that, that's <laughs> quickly, yeah. <laughs> just just one final question, if I may. For this section? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of expectation on Rasmus Hoyland. Um, are you expect him to make an immediate impact or do people, fans in particular, uh, you and the coaching staff, have to be patient with him? Because there's a big focus on him, isn't there? It's a big spotlight. Yeah, I think on, for every player, it's a big spotlight. Right? At United, you have to perform. And so in every position and every player. Is he fit enough to start this weekend, would you say? Or is that too soon? Well, I, I think he can, he's ready to start. Mm -hmm.